going to walk you through how to create templates for the mail merge class that will be merged with JSON data. For demonstration purposes, we use an ASP.NET application that uses the document editor added using the appropriate NuGet package. Let us take a look at our demo JSON data, which consists of an array of invoice items. In fact, we have only added one invoice. Then we have various properties such as the invoice ID and a customer, which is another array of properties that describe the customer. Finally, we have an array of line items for the invoice, consisting of the name, quantity, and price. These elements will later be inserted as a repeating merge block. Let's take a quick look at the view helper that renders the document editor in the view. We load the JSON data from a file to store it in a string variable, which is then passed to the load data from JSON method. When we start the application, we can immediately start designing our invoice template. We won't focus on the nicest design here. We just want to give you an idea of the data structure. Because we loaded the JSON file as a data model, all of the merge field dropdowns are filled with available merge fields and blocks. This gives you the flexibility as a developer to provide an extract file with dummy data rows for preview purposes instead of providing full database access. I have already inserted the invoice ID field and previewed the document. Now we are going to go ahead and add all the address fields to the template. Note the dot notation between the field name and the hierarchy level. In this case, customer.name because all the address properties come from the customer JSON element. Let's complete this address section with the last missing fields and format parts of it differently. Remember that merged fields retain their formatting after the merge process. Switch back to the reporting tab and select preview to see the results. Here you go, the address has been merged. Now let's take a look at the repeating merge block feature. The insert merge block dropdown lists all available blocks that can be added. We want to add all line items to our invoice. A dialog box opens where you can select the available fields. You can also insert a table header or filter and sort the repeating items. We will sort by price and insert the block. Time for results. Click preview to see our line items added to the merge block. You can change the table formatting like the header color or line width. So this demo has one hierarchy level. You can nest merge blocks to any number of levels. Merge blocks also have other uses as they can also be used for conditional content that is rendered based on certain conditions. I recommend that you take a look at the tutorials on our website for a further explanation. We provide tons of tutorials and samples covering all typical applications and use cases. Switching to preview mode shows our formatted table with a different background color. Merge blocks can also be inserted manually by designing the content first. I am going to insert a new 2x2 table into the document. After adding the column captions, I'll select the second row and manually insert a merge block by typing in its name, items. Let's open a very helpful sidebar called Field Navigation. This sidebar displays all of the fields and all of the merge blocks in the hierarchy to give you a better sense of overview. If you place the input position in a merge block that is highlighted in red, the field dropdown lists only available fields in that block. When previewed, both blocks are merged with our hierarchical data. One more thing to show. Typically, the editor is used to create templates, but not to generate the final documents. This is done on the server side with the help of the server text control class. The template will be loaded into the server text control. The JSON data is then passed to the attached mail merge class, which does all the magic to populate the fields with data. Finally, the document is exported as a pixel perfect PDF. Visit our website at www.textcontrol.com for more tutorials, examples, live demos, and articles on all typical applications, use cases, and background information. Thanks for watching and happy coding.